But one person I know that we are very anxious to speak with is Errol Fabian, who joins us via Zoom now. Good morning, Errol. Morning. Morning, Errol. How are you doing? You know, I was with you last night on your show mm -hmm. online, and I know it's been tough, but how are you doing this morning? I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm all right, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, how, far, how far back you and Tony would have gone? Because you had some businesses together. You had this yeah. TV station. How far did you guys go back? Tony and I would have met in like about 1975 wow. or 76. Yes. I was still at Naprima College and I was doing um, a production at the Bowl. And Tony used to be down there, and, and that's when I first met him. Mm -hmm. And what was the relationship at that point? Because you were at college, so was he in his capacity as a teacher, perhaps, or a mentor? Because uh, Roma and Penny, and they were saying that he, and er Wendell Etienne on earlier, Paul Price, was saying that he would have taught them. Morning, Penny. Um... No, Penny is not. Oh, Penny. Taught everybody without us being formal students. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, Tony and I were very good friends. He was a mentor to me. He has a business partner, yes. a sounding board, a confidant, um, and just a lineman partner and thing too. Yes. Tony was really, really everything, every everything, in, 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 and, and a daddy and a son and all kinds of things to me. Yes. Yeah. And um, so when you got the news, did you have any idea at all? Was he ill when you got the news yesterday? No, Tony wasn't ill. Um, he was at home from what I am told, and he got this heart attack, and Mary called the ambulance, and they were quite prompt, I understand, but mm -hmm. the heart attack was so massive, he just didn't survive it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, Francis Ann Solomon but said... He wasn't Ill. Francis Ann Solomon posted something saying that, Tony, you left the room mid-sentence. I want to continue the conversation. And I think that's exactly how uh, most of the persons that he worked with or was working with felt. And you probably more than anyone else, Errol. When was the last time you spoke with him? Um, I spoke with Tony about a month ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. But um, he would always join my life every night, you know, so... We never, well, many nights he would join the live, but we never really needed to be talking, you know. Tony yes. and I had this constant thing that was ongoing. Yeah. That um, we would just pick it up from right where we left off whenever we caught up with each other. Yes. Um, I I don't know that I feel like he left mid sentence, but um, a real. I lose somebody I've never, ever dealt with death in this way before. And I've lost so many people before, but Tony Hall is like a real, real dagger at real, real. Yesterday was not an easy day for me at all. Yeah. Why, why do you think, you know, I heard you say on your life that you usually cope with death um, in a different way. Why do you think it affects you? It's affecting you like this, um, the news of Tony Hall's passing? Because when Tony are wrong, things were safe. We can, I, I, there's no situation where when Tony are wrong was a disaster. Everything was safe when Tony was around. And I don't know, you know, he, uh, I lose a good friend, Lisa, a real good friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My heart joins yours right now, Errol, because I'm seeing the pain on your face since yesterday. And um, I, I, I'm, I really appreciate, I know this is very difficult for you to, to do this morning, but I really appreciate you paying tribute with us here this morning. Uh, you know, you speak about the fact that the archives, the work that he and Christopher led, 
have put together in the vault from which you extract so much material, so much work, uh, so many interviews, hours of interviews, hours of content that he would have put together. And you are looking at this work in front of you. What are you seeing as his legacy for Trinidad and Tobago and the rest of the world? Tony brought us our truth. And that's his biggest legacy. Um, everybody he worked with, Tony insisted on truth. If Tony thought a scene should go to the left, but your truth took you to the right, Tony was not the director who would say, no, no, do it my way. He would come to terms with what you want to do and work with you, but it has to be from a place of truth. Mm -hmm. And that's how Tony came up with the juvie process and the jamming drama and all these things because they were all mired in truth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's a thing with Tony, eh? I mean, even I sing in this song, you know, uh, that Sparrow song, George Bailey will always remember and thing. And we said, jump him in a steel band pass. But you can't say that with Tony because Tony was talking when a steel band passed. He wasn't playing mass, he'll be analyzing the mass. He was always looking further and looking deeper into ourselves and into what is around us, into our experience and trying to, trying to help us understand who we are so that we can find our place. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that is Tony's legacy because he helped us to find our place. He would, nobody else will do a play about Gene Miles, only Tony Hall, only Tony Hall will do, will team up with Roger to do the brand new Lucky Diamond Horseshoe Club, only Tony Hall will do Red Horse Fire Fire, nobody else writing that work, nobody else looking at those experiences, nobody else analyzing that truth, nobody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is Tony's legacy, that is like the real legacy that Tony has left us yeah a, a, a pursuit of our truth yeah we've seen a picture there of his brother dennis hall sprangalang uh, how is sprangalang because sprangalang himself uh was not well recently and how would he take uh, do you know if he's how he's taking this news have you been in touch with him i spoke with susie and um sprang is doing okay um I'm going to try and see him today, mm -hmm. but Tony on his weekly jaunt to Trinidad in recent time, a big part of it was checking in on Sprang. Yeah. Um, but Sprang Lung is on the mend medically, and um, I can't talk to his emotional state at all mm -hmm. with any degree of intelligence. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, you know, Errol, I'm going to have to leave it there. I really appreciate you coming this morning. But before we go, I want you to just leave with us what is your favorite memory, if you have. Probably you have too many. But what's your favorite memory of uh, Tony Hall? Tony telling me about an incident with him when he was a student. And he, was, and he needed to find a job. And he went to this Italian, he was passing by Italian bakery. And there's a sign in the, in the window that the worker was wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, he went in, you know, he took up the sign and went in. And, and um, the guy asked him if he could bake. Can't bake. But he said yes. <laughs> and the guy said, bread or pastry? And Tony told me just love how pastry sounded. So he said, pastry. <laughs> and, um, he got the job, of course, he never went back because he can't be, he can't be to, to, to save his life. And, um, and I was Tony, you know. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a memory I have, an anecdote I have that is always, when I think of Tony, I always see a pastry in my mind and I have a chuckle. And yes. And I know every time yeah. you have a pastry now, you'll think of him again. And yes, yeah, Errol, thank you so much. And continue to be strong as you have been uh, continuing your work every night. You have your show going still last night. I didn't expect to see you, you know, I didn't expect to see you online at all last night, Errol. 
but I think everyone, it was a healing process for everyone who yeah, joined. It was important. Yes, especially yeah. persons who will not be able to celebrate him in the traditional way at a funeral yeah. because of the circumstances that we live in yeah. now. Uh, thank you so much, Errol. And I'll continue to check in with you. Please do. Yeah. I love you, Lisa. I love you too, Errol. You know Bye -bye. that. You know that. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to take in a few messages and come right back here on the Now Morning Show after this.